Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Begley. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. So, Jim, tell me this. Who are you looking for in particular here? I'm going to pick a defender. Thiago Silva, uh, a natural athlete for me, with all the characteristics to be. They've scored! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the striker, and, and clear composure from the placement. Paris Saint-Germain trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Thiago Motta. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Cavani. Looking to force his way through. That's gone a long way up and away. Now it's Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic. Definitely fell there. Messi. Who's there doing the defending? Good determined running there, but run back by the defence. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. Now it's Messi. Cavani. And it's Busquets. Now it's Messi. Messi. Crosses in a low one. And the ball's come out. Got offside that time. Can he find a finish now? In with a header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Now it's Cavani. It's a long forward pass. Di Maria is flagged offside. Oh, I tell you, only just. It was well spotted. It's got good distance on that. Ibrahimovic. Now the pass. He spotted the run and played him through. Oh, 
the ball's come loose and the chase is on good stop that wasn't easy well i can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order peter that was very good to watch forward it goes and here's the chance to counter and he's on his way out to the left it goes play back and has booked him for the original offence <laughs> Thiago Motta and the first 45 minutes are up not the most convincing of displays they could certainly do much better than this they'll want to keep things simple build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes and we're off again Paris Saint-Germain don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Referee's given a throw. Tries a through ball. Done very well to intervene. Di Maria tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Now it's Verratti. Marco Verratti unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Barcelona have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. <laughs> corner it is, then. Look, there are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to, uh, to go at this. Massive leap! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. But when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Mascherano. Rakitic. Thiago Motta with the ball through. And the flag has stayed down. Oh, it's come off the upright. Cavani battles to win it back. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Matuidi moves long and forward. Ibrahimovic passes it through. Well, I think it's that time when you have to commit numbers full. The question, that's a foul. Ter Stegen. It upfield, and it's Iniesta. So, what now? Neymar, Di Maria, Ibrahimovic. Looks like a good ball through. A chance gets his head to it. It's a goal! They have stolen level at the last! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. 
It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. All square again into the dying minutes. Aurier conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Looks to slip it through. Aurier. Iniesta pumps it upfield. This could fall anywhere. And he's done it. And right at the death. That surely must be the winner. And it's no accident when this kind of thing happens. Top players are elevated to such a level because they have the will to keep going and the composure to produce vital goals. Take that. Ter Stegen perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. There is the final whistle. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found...